Welcome back kids. I have 12 tools in my tool racks, but I need to use a tool that's not in there. How do I do that? I'm going to show you right now. All right, here's the setup. I've still got a 3 16th inch end mill in my spindle left, left over from previous job. But I need to switch over and use this two and a half inch surfacing bit from Bits and Bits. And obviously this can't fit into an ATC tool rack. So it has to be loaded manually. I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing I've got to do is get out of automatic tool change mode and into manual mode. So to do that I go into my F1 tool changer. And you can see it's in linear tool changer type 2, which is what the a Pawn CNC ATC, that's the setup it uses. But now we need to switch it to the manual tool change there at the top. So I'm going to save that. Go back to my F2. This is how I'm going to tell it which tool I need to load up. So all I'm going to do is just hit the MDI button. And we're going to manually tell it which tool we're going to put into the spindle. So in this case, it's the tool 99, which is that big surfacing bit. So I have to say T99, tool 99, and then M6. That's the code for change to this tool. And then when I hit run, you'll see the spindle will move up here to the front to my tool change position. And then I'll load that tool manually. So let me do that. I will hit run. All right, now it's right there where I need it to be. So I just come over here. I've got my manual tool change button right here. Hope you can see that. So I'm just gonna put my hand in here to catch this one when it drops out, but I'm gonna push that. That took out the 3 16th inch end mill. And then to load up this surfacing bit, just stick it up in there as far as it'll go. That's what she said. And press and hold the button for just a second. And that baby's in there. So, okay. So, we have now successfully loaded that tool manually. So, now I've got like a 30 second surfacing pass that I'm going to run. I'm not really cutting anything. This is just for demonstration purposes. It's just going to be right over the top of that board there. So, you can see over here, there's what it's saying load tool, load tool number 99, 2.5 inch surfacing bit from bits and bits. Press cycle start after changing the tool. Well, I've already changed the tool. So if I hit cycle start, all it's going to do is take it back over there to my G55. That's the XY. Now I'll go back over here to the Masso. Let's get out of that. And I actually want to run this tool path here. Which I so all I've got to do is hit rewind and cycle start. And it's going to run that surfacing path. So let's hit cycle start. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I always reply to those. And while you're thinking about it, how about a like and a subscribe? I'd sure appreciate that. All right. So that's the end of the surfacing pass. You're going back and parking. Now I'm going to show you how to switch it back over to automatic mode. All right, so this is how I do this. I know we took out tool number 11, that 3 16th inch end mill at the very beginning in order to put in the uh, surfacing bit. So what I need to do is get that 3 16th inch end mill back into the spindle and load it manually so it will be showing in the masso uh, right here. So the way to do that, and you can see here, it's still in manual mode. So I'm just going to go here, go to my MDI, and we know it was tool 11, M6 is what I need, and that's already in the list. So click that, and then I'll click run, and then it will bring the spindle to the front to the tool change position, and then I'll manually, manually change it back to the 316. So let's do that. We hit run, and here it comes. Okay. 
All right, and again, all I have to do is hit my manual tool change button, which releases that surfacing bit. Here's our 3 16th inch end mill we took out earlier. I put it in there as far as it'll go, and then I hit that button, and it claps down on that bit. All right, so now we've got the bit loaded, and we look go back over here to the masso, and it's saying load the tool, load tool number 11, 3 16th inch. Uh, compression bit. Press cycle start after changing the tool. So cycle start. Now we look here. Masso knows it's tool number 11 and which tool that is. So all I have to do now is go back into my F1, go to the tool changer, and set it back to linear tool changer type 2 save and then we can test that to make sure uh, by going back into the MDI and let's see let's do 206 M6 since that's already on there and hit run and then it's going to go grab that tool it'll put down the 316 gauge And then it picked up that eighth inch downtown Jenny and takes it to the back. If you found that video helpful, you're going to love my Onefinity Elite Mods and Tips playlist. I'll have a link to it right over here. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see you over there on that playlist.